Hello, crafty friends. It's Saturday morning. It is a beautiful morning here in Florida. And I am excited today because I'm going to be sharing a couple of different product demos and putting them all together in a scrapbook layout. Usually I always make cards, but today I wanted to switch it up a little and do a scrapbook layout. So I'm gonna step out of my comfort zone a little bit to create a scrapbook layout on video, but I did lots of the pre-work just for the sake of the video. And I'm just checking, I am live and my lighting is good because it's, there's a lot of sun coming through my window, so I wanted to make sure. What we're going to use today is our Make It From Your Heart, Volume 5. This is our newest book. It's item number 9046, and this book creates 15 double-page layouts, 5 single-page layouts, and 10 standard A2 size cards. So you get all the dimensions and diagrams and we'll walk through this and some color inspiration of projects to make. So these Make It From Your Heart books are amazing. This is volume five. So we have four, three, two, and one all available online. So the product that I'm gonna be using is I am going to be using all pieces from our You Are Enough a promotion that's going on right now and it's still available and I have some special promotions with this. So this product bundle is an amazing value. It's $71.95 and if you're a VIP you're going to earn $10.80 on this and if you purchase it on my website craftydvusa.ctmh.com before the month of May is over I'll refund you the shipping. So it ships free. I can refund you via PayPal or um, Venmo. And that's an $8.20 value. So I will give you the shipping back on this product bundle. And again, if you're a VIP, you're going to earn $10.80 uh, $10 um, from purchasing this. It's also a 30% savings and all the items you get in here. Just this layered butterfly, is $34, okay? So what you get in the bundle, it's item number CC52118, is you receive these gorgeous layered butterflies. And I'm going to show you because I'm I already am um, gonna have the, use the large one on my layout. You also receive in the bundle the exclusive stamp and thin cuts, okay? And this is an $18.95 value. So this is $34, this is $18.95, but this entire bundle is $71.95. So it's an amazing value. You also receive Picture My Life cards, and then you get a pack of the cardstock, uh, the paper pack with the stickers, and I've been using mine, so I'm just going to show you. You receive two each of these pattern papers, and they're gorgeous, and they have foiling on them, this rose gold foiling, and I love this denim look. So you, re you would receive two each of these cardstock pieces. Lots of beautiful colors in this. So today, my scrapbook layout is going to be using these papers. We're going to be using the 3D butterfly. Oh, and you also receive in the kit, I'll show you that in a second, you also get the sequence butterflies. I showed you this one already. Um, where are my sequence? Oh, here they are. So you also receive these adhesive-backed sequence butterflies. So you get all that in the product bundle. This is my favorite, and I have um, extra sets of this on order because that once this goes away, um, we're not going to be able to get it anymore, obviously. And this coordinating cardstock pack that comes with this is beautiful. So you receive one of the solid colors of cardstock and then one with this beautiful rose gold. And again, I've used uh, some of that. So you receive it in, this is Bluebell. And then you get, look at this beautiful, this is the, um, I think this is a ballerina. Look at how pretty that is. And this, this is Mulberry. And then you get it in sapphire. Look at this print. I can't wait to make um, cards with this. 
and then the Glacier, it's one of my favorite colors. So I just wanted to show you the product bundle and all you get in that. So again, that's $71.95. If you're a VIP, you're gonna earn $10.80 in your VIP bank. And if you, you're not a VIP, reach out to me or you can find all the information on my website. And also for the month of May, I'm going to refund your shipping on that bundle, which is $8.20. Now, I'm gonna be using, like I said, Make It From Your Heart Volume 5. And I have all the pieces already cut out that I'm gonna be using today for uh, the sake of the video, but I did do lots of the pre-work. So I'll just move that out of the way for now. And we are going to be creating, I'm just gonna do a one page layout and this is pattern number two. So in the book, on the left side here, it's giving you a diagram for placement and then it shows you all of your cuts that you need to make. So you need one, two, three, four, five, six. I did six different uh, pieces of cardstock and pattern paper, which you see there. And I'm gonna, we're gonna create this layout. So we're gonna dovetail, and I'm using my uh, 3D layered butterflies to put on this page. I'm also going to be using my shimmer brushes. So I'm gonna show you how to take the shimmer brushes and do a splatter background. I love shimmer brushes. I have every color and I love to use them as splatter techniques. Hey everybody, hi Ember. Hi Yang, oh, she's watching from the Philippines. There she is, it's the evening over there. So no, it's morning here in Florida and it is beautiful out today. So yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make this. So I'm gonna move this out of the way first and we're gonna do some splattering. So I'm just, so I'm gonna move all my pieces and I'm gonna show you how these 3D butterflies look when you create them. So I'm just gonna move all my pieces and I did some stamping. And one thing I wanna show you, so I'm using this here. So you see you shine. I wanna show you what I did with my stamp, which is a, a little tip because if you see here, you shine. That was together, just like the thank yous together. And I couldn't get it to fit inside and I wanted to use this because it came with the coordinating thin cut. So all I did, and again, with these stamps, it's so easy to do. I just cut, I cut cut it into two pieces and then I kind of layered it. So you can do that um, with your stamps. So never be afraid to cut them. They definitely uh, work perfectly just the same. So I do that sometimes if I need to make something work. Okay, so I'll get this out of the way. And here's the smaller layer butterfly. This one, love it, love it. And Bluebell, Bluebell is my favorite, my most favorite color. It's our color of the year and it will go away. Um, it will go away um, in, at the end of August because we'll get a new color of the year in September when our new core catalog starts. Okay, so I wanna make sure all my pieces of paper are out of the way because I, you know, sometimes splattering, um, it does go a little, it does go all over. So um, I just wanna make sure I don't ruin anything. What you also could do is you can put down your craft sheet, which I should do just to cover a little bit of my surface. Okay, so with our shimmer brushes, now when you first get the shimmer brush, there's gonna be a little, I don't have a brand new one. Oh, actually, yes, I do. I do have a new one right here. Okay, so this is a an extra clear one because I go through clear a lot. So you see this little yellow piece right here? So all you're gonna do is you would take the cap off, unscrew, let me move my cardstock, you would unscrew this piece here and actually I think I unscrewed the wrong piece. Um, but you, you take out that yellow piece, you'll see what to do and then you just put the top back on and then shake it. Now, when you take the top off, you don't wanna twist the top, you just wanna push it up. So what I do is I just use my finger and pull it up. And every time I use my shimmer brush, especially if I'm gonna do splatter, I always just make sure that this 
is on tight and I kind of just rub um, just to get any access off. So on the side here, I when I'm gonna splatter, I put a little, I, I squeeze just a little bit just to make a little bit of a puddle just to get, uh, just like that, just to get the brush nice and juicy, okay? And then I just hold it over my paper and I kind of just flick with my hand. So you see I'm getting some splatter marks, okay? So this is Bluebell. And if you want a little more in a corner, you just do that. So if you can see, I'll hold this up a little bit. So you see I have this nice splatter technique. Now, we also sell what you can use for splatter is our gloss sprays. And I'm gonna do a different video with this one day and I'll highlight this as a product. So we have these in a lot of colors online. This is our gloss spray. And with this, you could do the same thing. You just spray it. Okay, so I particularly love uh, splatter. Now I'm also going to, I'm gonna put the cap on my Bluebell. So that was Bluebell. And I'm going to also use Sapphire. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna pop my, my cap up. Okay, I'm gonna make sure this is tight. I'm gonna make a little bit of a puddle just to get, just to get that nice and juicy, and I'm gonna splatter. Okay, so you could do it as close or as far away till you get the desired look you're look, looking for. Okay, so I think you get the idea of the splatter, and this dries fairly quick. So um, I'm just gonna move my craft sheet for a moment, get this out of the way, and then we will get ready to craft. So another thing that I do is I love to use, this is our Versamat, I love to use this when I'm crafting. I have two of them on my desk because if you see, I'll move one out of the way. I'm giving lots of uh, tips today. If you see, you can use this as a perfect guide to line things up, right? And what I normally do is, because I want to keep it still, I put a little bit of adhesive on my Versamat, and then I, just to hold my paper down so it doesn't move. And then when I'm done crafting, I just use my rub and erase, and um, which if you don't know, let me show you my rub and erase. One of these little tools I'm sure everybody has in their stash, and I just rub it on the Versamat, comes right off, and I rub it on the back of my uh, scrapbook layout, and it comes right off. Okay, so I'll just keep one Versamat uh, down for now, just so you can see how I use this as a ruler, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring in my Craft With Heart book with all my pieces, and I'm just gonna leave this, let's see where I can leave this, right here on my desk, just visually, so I can see the placement of the pieces. And that's really all you do. So I did, cut all my pieces out, like I said, and I labeled them. So I'll show you how I do that because it just makes it quite easy. So if you see here, this is paper one. So whatever you decided for paper one, letter A is one by 10 and letter E is a half by 10. Then you look over here at the diagram. So A would go there and E would go here. So that you would do for each paper two, paper three, and so on all the way across and then they each have a coordinating letter and you just cut to the exact dimension. So you do all your cutting first, which I did, and then you use your diagram for placement. Now, you can then change this up. This is just an idea to give you a starting point. Like, uh, for example, there's no splattering on the back here. There's no butterflies. I'm just making it my own and using this as a guide. That's why I love our Craft With Heart um, how-to books. They are amazing. So I'm just going to take that out of view just for my purposes so I can see where the placement goes. And I'm just going to take a seat and we're going to start. So what I do when I do all my cutting first, actually, let me stand up so you can see this. I cut, so this was uh, piece A. I want this side of the cardstock. So I just use a pencil and I label all my pieces. So that one's hard to see, but it's D. This is C. And where's my, 
there's my little marking on this one. Oh, that's B. So it's hard to see on camera, but you get the idea. Here's this one is J, but I'm obviously using this side. Um, so that's kind of what I do just to make it easy for myself. And I am going to need my scissor because we're gonna dovetail the banner. So let me see if I have any questions um, before we get started here. Okay, so I am going to start looking at my diagram and I need my pieces. So I'm gonna put them, and it, and it does show you kind of where you wanna start. So that's an inch up and they're gonna be clustered in the middle there. So I'm also going to use, I love using my uh, little T ruler here so that I kind of know where my placement's gonna be from the top or the bottom just for making everything even. So I'm gonna line up my pieces, get them in place. So this is C, let me look for A. So here's A, B. So you get the idea of how to use these books. That's D. So, so A, B, C, D, we got, here's E, E, F, this is G, G, F, yep. F, G, H, I, okay, perfect. So you see how I'm putting I'm just laying them out now and I'm looking at the diagram. These are 10 inches, so I wanna to try to be about an inch from the top and an inch from the bottom. So I'm just gonna put my uh, ruler right here on the one inch mark just for uh, lining up purposes. And if you see there, I'm perfectly lined up. Look at this, I have splatter all over my hands. I'm perfectly lined up at the 11 mark. So I just, I kinda of like to lay everything out first before I start to adhere down. So we're just gonna put these just like that. And then on my diagram, it says I'm about three inches from this side. So again, I'm gonna use my ruler and kind of move that down. And that's where I wanna start, an inch up and then at the three inch mark. So now I'm gonna come in with my adhesive and I'm gonna take my first piece. lay that right where it says an inch up at the three inch mark. Kind of make sure I'm about the three there. Perfect. And I'm just going to follow this all the way along now. So if anyone has the craft with your heart, craft from your heart books, I'd love to know if you use them. I use them constantly, especially when I'm making cards. I always like to go to my book first for some inspiration. And there you have it. Just start laying these out. Then we'll get to putting our beautiful butterflies down. Love these butterflies. And again, if you don't have this product bundle, I suggest before it sells out or it just goes away um, that you wanna get your hands on it. And like I said, this month is a great month because I'm giving you free shipping. A, B, C, D, is this E? Yep. So I'm giving you free shipping and VIPs. So what a VIP is, um, you pay a, a fee, it lasts for the entire year, and you earn 15% of all your product purchases. And then you use that credit to purchase product. So like I said, VIPs, if you purchase this bundle, which is $71.95, you're going to earn $10.80 in your VIP bank. So let's say on your next order, you can apply that $10.80 towards your product purchase. There's only a few items that are not eligible, 
um, which that you cannot use your VIP credits on, such as promotional items or sale items. Oh, and you guys, there is a flash sale going on uh, close to my heart right now. It started yesterday at 5 p.m. There's lots of good items on there, and it goes through Tuesday, and there is still items available. So I would suggest heading over there. There's envelopes, uh, bases, card bases with envelopes. There's glitter paper. There's some card kits. So they have, uh, there's some stamp and thin cuts. They have some stuff marked down and their while supplies last through Tuesday. Okay, so now perfectly even, I have that all down and I love the way all these papers coordinate. So next we're going to take, um, this is letter J and this is three by nine. So what I wanna do is I wanna dovetail this and I'll show you a little trick that I use to dovetail. So again, this is three inches wide, so I'm just gonna line it up. I'll do it, um, hopefully you can see, you can. I'll line it up at the bottom. So here's my three inch wide. So at one and a half is the center point. And I just come in and make a little cut. I'm gonna do that on the other side. You can do this with your paper trimmer. I just like to do it freehand. And then I'm going to, and then you come in from the corner and then from the other corner. There you have it, perfect dovetail. And I'm gonna do the same thing on the other end. So you wanna come in on an angle. So I have a perfect dovetail. So this is going to go right there in the center. So I'm gonna probably line that up at, say probably at the five mark because this is three inches wide. So, uh, so that it all is symmetrical, maybe four and a half. I think right about there is good. So I'm gonna adhere this straight down to the paper now. And you can pop things up. I would um, possibly pop this up because I like lots of dimension, but I'm gonna pop up all my butterflies. So if I wanna do this at about four and a half, four and a half over here, per, well, I wanna move it over just a tad. It's okay, my, my adhesive allows me to move. I wanna make it even over here. Okay, that looks about better. Perfect. Look at that. It looks pretty cool coming coming along. Okay, so next what I'm going to do is I am going to adhere. So this was um, K. So this is four and a quarter by six and a half. And then I'm just using a photo placeholder just so that I know a four by six photo goes right here. How cool is that going to look so far? So I'm going to pop this up. I'm just gonna use some 3D foam dots. I love popping up photo mats. Does anybody else like popping up photo mats? So as you can see, the craft with craft from your heart books, uh, make it from your heart, sorry, give you a lot of ideas. So sometimes we need inspiration, right? And listen, I am constantly on YouTube and I'm on Facebook, I look for inspiration myself, but these books just make it so easy, give you all the cutting diagrams so that you can just craft at your own pace. <laughs> you love foam dots? Yes, I do too, Ember, I use lots of them. I have foam rolls, I think I got them all off. Okay, and I love to pop up photo mats. All right, so this is about looking at my diagram. It's kind of at the edge of A. I think that's perfect, okay? And then what I do, now you can use photo mats. Um, you can just cut this out of white cardstock and you can use it as another layer or I just sometimes like to put a little tiny piece of adhesive just so that I know in case I was gonna give this to someone that they know a four by six photo goes right there. 
So now I think I put all my pieces. The next one is the title. So it was telling you to cut out a circle. So this went perfectly. So I'm just gonna pop that up and that's gonna go right about there. Now I want it to overlap on my picture so I'm not gonna put any adhesive over here. So I'm just gonna put a few pop dots right on that edge there. So that you see it's even with my photo mat and you could still slip your photo behind there. And Amber, I know you have these uh, uh, books. I don't, I'm not sure if you receive them yet, but you are going to love them for crafting. Okay, so there I did, so you can see now I don't have any adhesive here so my picture could still go behind. Okay. Next, I'm going to use, okay, this. So this is one of the um, Picture My Life cards. Okay, they're double-sided, and I just trimmed it down a little. I think this was three by four, so I trimmed it down a little, and I'm using the gorgeous, my favorite, did I say that already, Bluebell glitter paper, and I'm just going to back that and kind of put it, maybe right about there. And one thing is when you're putting anything on glitter cardstock, you want to use a glue dot. Okay, that is what I have found the best thing to adhere to glitter paper. So I'm just gonna use, these are some bigger glue dots. I'm gonna just put them in the cor all four corners. Otherwise, if you try to use adhesive tape runner, it doesn't really stick. Even I've used tear and tape, again, doesn't really stick. Glue dots, that does it. Okay, so we're just gonna layer these two together. Then, um, oh, what do you think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pop this up. I think this will be a pretty layout for a picture of my daughter. I have a very beautiful daughter. She's down in college in South Florida and she always takes pictures and selfies and she's got lots of sorority pictures so I think this will be a, a beautiful layout to put into one of her books. We all have lots of scrapbooks right that we want to make. I think I'm up to 2009 for my chronological scrapbooking um, and then I do lots of events so I think that looks kind of cool on an angle right like that. Perfect. Okay, so now to these beautiful butterflies. So I showed you the layered butterfly. Okay, so this is one of the dies, that's another one, and that's the third. So what I did here, what works really well is we have, our cardstock is all double-sided. So if you can see the two shades, if you can tell. Um, so I did my base butterfly in the dark then the second layer I did in the opposite side of the cardstock, so it's the lighter shade. And then I used the Bluebell glitter for the top. How beautiful is that? Okay, so I'm only going to adhere the middle of my butterfly, and I'm probably gonna put a little pop dot or something to, to make it look like the wing is popped up a little. So, um, or you can bend this a little bit, whatever you wanna do, but I'm only going to adhere them together by by the uh, by the middle there. So I'm going, I think I'm gonna use my liquid glue. Let me see if my liquid glue is gonna cooperate. Yeah, I'm gonna use some liquid glue just to adhere him in the middle here. And I know you see my glue there, that's okay. This mono adhesive dries clear. And then I'm going to add some, I'm going to use, again, foam, 3D foam. Our 3D foam rolls come in two thicknesses, so there's a thin side and a thick side. I'm going to use the thin side and put it right on the middle there. Perfect. Do you see my foam? Just a little, so I'm going to trim that so you don't see the foam. And another trick is you can double layer your foam tape. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use, an, I'm going to take off the backing there. I'm gonna get another piece of foam because I want this just a little bigger, right? I wanna pop it up more. So now that piece is sticky. So you can just double 
just try to get a perfect piece. So if you see there, now I have like double layered. Okay, so I'm going to put that right in the middle there. Love it. Now look at the butterfly. I don't even need to put pop dots on the side or foam because I used double-sided adhesive. So it looks like, so it's layered. So it looks like he's flying. Love it. So I only want the middle pop down. And I think I'm going to put this right there. I'm not going to adhere it yet because I want to get to the other ones. Okay, so let me show you what I did with these little butterflies here. This came out of the Stampin' Thin Cut. So here is the, there's the bottom stamp and then the top. So you can see here how I did that. I didn't use the top stamp. This also comes with a thin cut. If you see the thin cut right there. So all I did was I used the thin cut and I cut this out of Bluebell cardstock. And then I used the inside of the butterfly stamp right there and I stamped it with sapphire pigment ink, and then I clear embossed it. So it has a little bit of a shine, if you can see that. And then I put some stickles down the middle, and that's it. And then on the white, I cut these out of white, and I did the same thing using sapphire pigment ink, and I put some clear embossing powder, and then I heat set it. So I love sapphire pigment ink. It, it is a really beautiful color. I know, Ember, there was such, when these uh, debuted, the they were on back order, and I did check your order yesterday, and it's in fulfillment, um, and I, I have a few customers waiting, and some of my fellow demonstrators said that they're starting to get shipping notices, but I believe they were in the thousands. Um, we got hit with such a huge, everybody wanted this, so it did go on back order, um, but it is available, and they're just catching up, so I am sure it will ship out, uh, it's got to ship out Monday because it's been in fulfillment since Thursday. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just kind of bend these little butterflies and put them scattered, pop them up, just to bend the wings a little bit. And another thing is you can put, actually, I'll show you that. You can use, in our 3D foam dots, they come in two sizes, so we get a small and a large. So I think what I'm gonna do is just put the little foam dot right there. And I'm just gonna put, um, I'm gonna put it, it uh, I can't even talk today, liquid glue in the middle. So this sits down on the paper and then his wings are pressed up. You'll see. So let's put this one down somewhere. So I think, I think we're gonna put that one right there. So the, so he's laying flat but if you can see, the wings have a little bit of a dimension to them, as if he's flying off the page. Cute, right? Maybe we'll put this one here, and we'll put that one here. I love butterflies. Butterflies are beautiful. Now, this is the other layered butterfly that comes in the full kit, and this is the smaller. So you only get two thin cuts for this one. So here's the base I did in Bluebell. And then here is uh, the, I did the top layer in the Bluebell glitter paper. So for this, I think I'm just gonna put a little bit of our thin foam tape on the back. Make sure you can't see it, trim it a little extra. just going to put the little bit of foam tape just pop him up and then I think I'm going to put this one I don't want to clash with the glitter there so I think I'm going to put that one there how's that look right there that's how I finish this off we're gonna pop up this butterfly in all three spots so he won't be flat to the paper. Maybe right there. And then this one, I want to adhere straight down to my paper. So I'm just gonna use my 
adhesive tape runner. Put that right there. And again, so you can see here, the wings are kind of flapped up. And now this one, I'm gonna do the same thing. I wanna adhere this straight down to the paper. I think I have a really nice treat next Saturday. I'm going to be playing with, um, I'm getting an order today of some uh, Distress Oxides, these three colors that I really want to play with. Um, so I'm going to do a really cool trick next Saturday. Look at that. How beautiful. Love the butterfly. I'm loving this, you guys. Okay, so let's see. Do I have any questions? Yeah, the butterflies are beautiful. I do love them. So last, I'm going to now just add a few embellishments. I like to use my piercing tool when I'm working with sequins or gems. So here are the layered butterflies. So you get, there's like two different shades. If you can see, this is like, well, together you can see the difference. It's like a rose gold and a lighter shade. And these are adhesive backed. They're fully adhesive backed. So I'm just going to... figure out where we're gonna put a few of these. Maybe right there. Maybe one over here. I don't really need my tool with this. These are big enough. Good. I don't like to do too much. And again, embellishments always in three. I'm sure everyone who's into card making and scrapbooking, you know, you've always been taught do your embellishments in three and in like a triangle pattern. So maybe we'll put, I think we need some, maybe we'll put a gem there. I think maybe one right here. That's what we'll do. Put one on this card. Yes, perfect. Okay, and then last I have some Bluebell glitter gems. I'm going to use these and our glitter gems come in in a package you, you get two sizes so you have the small size and the larger size so I definitely need one right here I want one right there so I'm going to do a few big ones actually nope I'm going to do one right there I'm going to do a little one there and maybe one right there in the big. So I'll do three big. And then I'll do three little. I want to put one in the U shine. And then right here. I'm really happy with the way this came out. So as you can see, no, I don't want to put it too close to there. So as you can see, I changed up. I used the craft. I'm sorry, I keep saying craft. It's make it. Make it from your hard book to start out with inspiration. And that's what I created. So... This is why these books are excellent to use. So now, remember I told you I have some adhesive on the back here. Oh, I never put this butterfly down. Let's do that real quick. Just put a little adhesive there. I think today I'm gonna uh, work on, I've been wanting to work on my daughter's eighth grade graduation uh, scrapbook. So I'm gonna work on that and she's a senior in college. So, but I think I'm gonna work on that today. Okay, so now I have, see how that's sticky right there? All I do is take my rub and erase. That takes that right off. No more stickiness. And then I'm also going to flip my, oh, there's nothing, but if there was a little sticky, just rub it on the back there. So here is my creation using the Make It From Your Heart Volume 5. This is one of the single page layouts. I hope um, you like that. 
I know, Ember. I do. I have one of my crafty friends who lives like 20 minutes from me, so we do get to craft together. But virtually, hey, we're going to, uh, next month, you're, you're going to be hearing soon, we're going to be doing a virtual crop. I'm probably going to be doing one every month. Um, so at least we'll see each other virtually and we go on Zoom and everything. It's great. So yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. I used um, all the pieces that would come in the... Um, you are enough. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. You are enough product bundle. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, uh, you can private message me. You can shoot me an email and check out my website, craftydivausa.ctmh.com for all the products that I use today. And also follow me here on Facebook. Give this video a like. I'm building... Um, you know, my crafting inspiration. I work and crafting is my therapy. I do this on Saturdays. It's what I enjoy doing. And it just gets that crazy work week off my brain to start over on Monday. And I'm sure lots of ladies are in the same uh, boat as me, but I have a little bit of a stressful job in my full-time real life. So this is just something that I love to inspire people. So I I really hope that um, you follow me and you jump on as becoming one of my VIPs. There's just so much benefits into being a VIP and I just love sharing inspiration. So um, I just hope you continue to follow me and I have a private Facebook group also. So if you wanted to be part of that, it's just a, a, a nice group of ladies and they just share their own inspiration and it doesn't have to be close to my heart products. It's just um, anything they're working on and I try to get some engagement in there. I'm more active here on my business page. So make sure you follow my business page. And like I said, I'm going to be doing virtual uh, weekend crops. We just had one last weekend and it was great. Um, a few of my team members, we get together and we put on virtual crops. So it's lots of fun. There's lots of prizes to win. We offer great specials. So make sure you follow me so you don't miss out on all the fun. And I hope you enjoyed watching me put this together and that this video wasn't too long. Everyone, have a wonderful Saturday. Ember crafting is your therapy. It's my therapy too. Like I said, I my husband works on Saturday. My daughter's away at college. So I have nobody here but my little doggy. So I just craft. I usually call my mom on FaceTime and we're just crafting together And because she lives in another state. And that's how I spend my Saturdays. And then I share my inspiration with all of you and I hope you enjoy it. So have a great Saturday enjoy your weekend and look forward to some of my posts this week so you can see what I worked on over the weekend. Bye everyone.